Okay, everyone, it's Becky. I'm Becky Belot with Creative Memories. I am an advisor and I um, have some tips for you today. Um, I got a new computer and I'm questioning if I look blurry to you guys. So if you could uh, let me know, I've cleaned my little, uh, what do you call it, my uh, camera. I don't feel like I look blurry, but Maybe it is my eyesight. Um, so uh, one thing I want you all to know, I told you last week we had a lot of new stuff come out. And maybe that's my glasses. It's driving me crazy. Let me um, clean my glasses. Hopefully um, what you all see me doing is not blurry. Yeah, to me it's blurry. But anyways, um, Thank you for tuning in. It is like really dreary here in Virginia. It's like raining and windy and they let the kids out early today from school, which they they do that kind of willy nilly, actually. But um, <laughs> I was really kind of surprised. But anyways, windy and yucky and cold, actually, but kind of yucky. Uh, so anyways, I'm glad to be here with you today. Uh, sorry, I'm a little late. I um, got a little caught up little busy glad to be here and um i have some really cool ideas to share you share with you so i am going to go ahead and change the screen and get on with it um the first thing i wanted to do i know last week i did a really fast demo on completing a fast to fab album so if you are starting the new year a little frustrated with being behind in your album projects Fast to Fab is a beautiful scrapbooking method that you will like. Um, it, you start with pages that are partially completed and you pretty much just add your photos and, and maybe just a few embellishments or, you know, things to kind of make it your own. So I built this in front of you last week. And everything was st and it stuck down. Not everything was completed. So I did want to go ahead and, and show you the finished product. Um this one uh, is my title page with a with a wreath, um, and um, somebody told me that I just need to get another one of my Christmas cards that I didn't mail out, and put another one inside on this side, and that way it won't be upside down. And I haven't done that yet, but thank you to whoever told me that. It's like such a no brainer, and it never crossed my mind. So thank you for sharing that because I don't want that to be upside down. All right, so title page, I'm going to flip through here relatively fast because you saw this last week. Um, what I wanted to, to remind you is that the cards that you get in the mail can be embellishments. Your um, your mats that come from the mat pack can add decorations to your FASTA fab. So um, basically, just really simple page. I included, there's your peek, peekaboo pockets. And I was telling you last week, you do build them on top of your page protector. You know, because it's on the page protector, I can actually take it off without doing any damage if I actually needed to. Um, but it is pretty stuck on there. Like if if a kid, a child, <laughs> a kid was looking at it, it probably wouldn't um, come off um, unless they really wanted it off. Um, so it's still so, so pretty. So I wanted to flip through real fast to let you see how beautiful these pre-done pages are and adding Christmas cards as your embellishments. What a cost effective and economical way and great memory. I notice I put little tabs under my card so that I knew who they came from. And um super, super pretty. Do you like it? All right, and this starts my 2023. This page was not fast to fab that one I actually did prior time that I actually added in here. So I've got your peekaboo pockets. Yeah. Speaking of, one of the new products that came out was the tag punch. When you use the tag punch, you get a tag that looks like that. And you just kind of fold it and then put adhesive on these long edges here and then stick it down. So it's a great thing for those of you that love peekaboo pockets. I highly recommend it. That way you can use the colors that actually match your page. Not that white didn't work. This this album, I did a lot of white and it worked just fine and dandy. But I actually uh, ran out. And so it was really great to be able to, the punch had just come in the mail <laughs> and I was able to do that. This one, I went crazy and I did all kinds of peekaboo pockets on this one. 
Here's my Christmas cards. And you can stack peekaboo pockets on top of peekaboo pockets. So that's what I got there. And then this one had some of my horizontal ones. Fun, huh? I could just lick this. I'm so proud of it. It's so pretty. And I love this album cover, don't you? Uh, so I did want to show you that it is actually done until next year, which is what I love about Christmas albums. All right. So let's get on with this. I am going to show you a technique using the Adventure Parks collection today. And then I have the finished collection done with the new collection, which is my cheer. My, no, it's not. I said that completely wrong. It is my it's this life <laughs> this life the this life collection i believe you just have a few more days to get that at a discount i'm um, at 10 percent off for just a few more days i think it ends friday at one o'clock if i'm not mistaken and in that bundle you get the banner punch that i just showed i mean the tag tab punch that i just showed and you also get the banner uh which does these little guys so it does these little guys. Um, also, the trash, you know, when you when you punch it strategically, um, it makes some really cool borders as well. All right. So you're going to see a lot of that. I've already seen um, all kinds of cool things that it could do. Um, so uh, you're going to really like that. So that comes in the bundle, both of those. Also in the bundle, you get some ABC sticker letters that are white with little tiny micro dots that are Roy G. Biv colors, your rainbow colors. All right. Um, I hate to mess up my focus by doing this, but they're really just really tiny little micro dots and red, orange, yellow, blue, all of your um, fun colors. All right. And then you get a pack of stickers. The stickers, I'm going to hold those up a little close. They have the stickers in rows. You see the rows? Like you see these little dividing lines? All right, they're saying that this would make a really fun group grouping. Like you could group those to make a really cool embellishment grouping. People that are a little challenged in that. All right, of course you can break the rules and and, and do what you want. Um, it, this is called this life, and it's going to be an annual type. It's 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 a package that's going to span throughout the year. So that's why you're going to see pumpkins and leaves, and um other things. It's supposed to take us through the entire year: winter, summer. You've got the you know hot coffee and the tea and stuff. Anyways, um, you're going to like this. This is one that it's going to be a must have that you're going to want this year for sure. All right. So it's got stickers. It's got mats. This one I don't have organized nicely in my thing because I've been working with it. But um, what I love about the mats on this is a lot of them are really simple. I like decorative mats too. I, I like them both. But I do like it that these are simple. I think they're um, going to be really easy for you all to use. Um, so um, this one, you can put the photo in the middle. You can use it as a journal box either way. So anyway, so double-sided. We have a lot of simplicity here for those of you that have been asking for simplicity. All right. So anyways, I think you'll like these. Super fun, super pretty, and all the colors that everybody loves. And um, I think you'll enjoy this. All right, then we also have um, these little embellishment dots. And then the embellishments themselves, actually, I'm going to grab my folder because those are still in there. They're um, all of these sayings. All right, so, so these are going to look great in combination with those sticker groupings. So they're just sayings that anybody would want on a page. They're just kind of miscellaneous, guys. For um day to day life as we live it, right? Smile, ball, ball, hug, traditions, you know that kind of thing. All right, so lots and lots of those, and then we have two paper packs and one more sticker pack. Sticker pack, I almost forgot because it's not out, but it um is there um large large numbers. So you're gonna like these a lot for the for my number people. I wish I had had those when I was doing that stinking Christmas album. All right, I feel like tearing off my my letters and putting those on now, right? All right, and then um, any anybody that likes new stuff understands what I'm talking about there. And then there's two paper packs. There's a tonal pack, 
and that's not tonal. The way I know is because the the um the designer prints have more of a, a busier side. They always have kind of a, a side that's not as busy, but they always have a kind of a busier side typically with your designer prints. So this is what they look like. Look how pretty they they look together, would you? Super pretty. That one you've seen. And then the tonals, and I've used some of these, so that's why there doesn't seem to be very many. Um, the tonals are the same color on both sides in all of these. One side kind of looks like a, a water stain look. Watermark, I guess is the better word. And then the other side has some kind of light print. So some of them have stripes and some of them have dots. But they're all in the same colors. Oh, funny. I showed this to my clients and I didn't realize one is striped and one is dots. That's cool. I, didn't, I must not have looked too close. So one is one is dots, stripes and one is dots. So now that I'm not in such a hurry, I am singing that. That's super cool. All right. So now, that's what comes in the collection. And I will actually do a page spread with that. Very similar to the one I'm getting ready to show you. In fact, I've already done it. <laughs> I've already done it. I'm going to show you the completed page in a moment. So let's go ahead. We're working with Adventure Parks today. And I am going to grab these two sheets. These are um, these and if you don't have these, this is a great, great organizational tool. These are your project file folders. All right. So um, this is the fast to fab paper that comes in Adventure Parks. This would be really pretty to build on right now. You know, this, this is really pretty. But if I did this right now, then I wouldn't be able to show you the skill that I'm getting ready to show you. <laughs> um, so anyways, I am going to turn it this way and you'll see why in a minute. And I am going to fold these on each other like this. I'm going to remember that the border side is this way because I want to cut the other side. So I am going to grab my decorative trimmer. Hopefully you have yours handy. You might want to try this. It's super simple. And did I say I'm not cutting that side? I'm cutting this side. All right. So I am going to, I want to use, this has two different options, the swell and the wave. I am going to do the wave today. And um, my typical philosophy is uh, we are not measuring <laughs> all right but the, the more you put it in and the more you slant it the more uh, um the less building space you're going to have really you know like if you like your decoration to not be built on built on then you don't want to go way across like this because then it this will be your your area that you're working in with your photos all right so i'm going to minimize that but, but you can you can do big chunky ones and you know it depends on what you're you're trying to do. I'm going to minimize it so that it's a nice angle. And the reason I don't care what the measurement is is because I'm cutting them both at the same time, okay? So let's go ahead. I, I, I like that and I'm going to go ahead and use that. maybe maybe just a little less. All right and I see that I'm pulling one piece of paper and not the other and that is disastrous. So I'm going to push them back back together and I'm going to Pull just a little bit less, maybe more of an angle. All right. And then we're going to cut. It's super simple. We're going to pull this aside. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take these lumps right here and we're going to scoot them in. I do have a, a theory for this. We're going to scoot them in um, two solid blocks. All right. When you scoot them in, make sure the paper stays together. I'm going to go two blocks. You could do more or less. Two blocks is what I have been doing already. Just want to make sure the pieces of paper stay together when I do this. And you, you don't even have to. I know it's slanted, so I don't want you to to get get worried that, oh gosh, what if I lose my place? If you lose your place, just put it right back up on the cut line on your trimmer and then count again. So that's one hump, that's two humps. And then make sure all of those humps, I mean two two lines, make sure they're all on the same one. All right. And then we're gonna cut. And then we're going to do that again. Okay, just make sure papers together. 
line back up to that line. That way you know that it's straight. And then you're going to go one line, two line. And then you're going to make sure all the humps are on that second line. All right. Or a place where it didn't cut. You can hear it cutting. And if you hear here where it's not cutting, go back and grab it. All right. So now we're going to grab um, some paper to build on. We're going to use all of these pieces. I'm going to put them aside right now, though. Get this trimmer out of the way. We're done with this trimmer. And we're going to grab another color. Um, um, what do I want to work with? M maybe... Uh, Maybe maybe white. Let's let's mimic like like let's say we're just working on in our I don't know. This is this looks like white and it's not. So I might want to pick something a little bit bolder. How about some yellow? I'm allowed to change my mind if I don't like the way this looks, guys. All right. All right. And um, I'm going to build like something. And then these go back beautifully somewhere. And then these are your accent colors. They will fit somewhere perfectly. You'll know it when you've got the right one. All right. And then what you can also do because we have this pretty border down here is we can use it or not. I think I'm going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and cut those off. And um, and you can cut the whole border or just a part of it. It's, it's kind of up to you. I'm going to stack them again. I think I'm just going to do a part of it. I'm going to tell you the measurement in case you're copying me. Um, I think I'm going to do. Uh, be careful on this because the pages aren't the same size um, because of the way we cut it. I think I'm just going to do, I don't know, an inch. Let's do an inch. My screen now doesn't look blurry. So it's just when you're looking at me, which is a blessing. All right, and maybe it doesn't look blurry to you, but it did to me. And then we're gonna um, put this down here. And then I'm gonna probably put this red one or the white, it doesn't matter either way. This is white with like light purple polka dots. You probably might not be able to see that at home. And then we'll put this back in. I think I like the red. I hate it when I try to save time by not sticking things down. It actually takes more time to not stick them down, doesn't it? Oh, so there we go. Is that pretty? And then you have space to put your stuff down. Um, Probably would do, let me see. I didn't really. 
think this horribly through a lot. I just wanted to, because I know I already have a completed one, but, um, but now what you would do, like you have room for a couple of, um, couple of, uh, four by six photos here. Um, maybe a mat, maybe a couple other, other little, little boxes there. So now let's look at the finished one and I'll finish this one for you for next week. Actually, there we go. I need to get my focus back. All right. Um, so the one that I completed for you, very similar to the one that you just saw. Um, in, fact, in fact, it's exactly like the one that you just saw. But what I did is instead of having the, um, the tilt at the top, I did the tilt this way and a little bit of a variation um, on the side. So take a look. And I feel like my original one had a little bit more working space. All right. So this is what I did. Now, this is using the new This Life. All right. And instead of putting this uh, this other squiggly on the other side, I put it on the bottom. And what I did is I used the curve of the wave to as a kind of a visual lineup for my title. And I did use the polka dotted letters. Um, I took my uh, little banner pieces and I cut them in half and used that at the top of this one along with one of these. And over here, I actually used two rows of my stickers together. So there were some leaves and flowers side by side. And I put all of those together with some foam pads to give this beautiful look. Is that super pretty? So there you have it. So this is this life collection. And I believe you really can merge these colors together. So if you have some Adventure Park, some of the tonals, if you need extra colors, I think you can mix this in. It's a really, um, I, I, just because all the, the colors are, are, are so bright and fun, I think they'll go nicely together. All right. So that is all I've got today, everybody. Um, thank you so much for watching and listening to me mumble. I feel very kind of kind of out of sorts for me not doing it the proper time <laughs> during the day um, but anyways um so if you need an advisor i would love to be your advisor um if you would love to make some money in 2024 by being an advisor please let me know um i would love to chat with you about that um if you are an advisor watching it is not too late to sign up for my seize the day advisor retreat which is just um almost three weeks two and a half weeks away so um we're gonna have a great time um i do a uh, lots of demos i have another teammate that does some great demos we'll have lots of training sessions um so anyways um would love to have you join us for that you can find that under my events tab at uh, uh www.scrapbookwithbecky.com and um, that's uh, a January retreat. It's the very, or it's, it's the last weekend of this month. So we would love to have you for that. Um, and if you need to get this collection before the time runs out on Friday at one, please reach out to your advisor. And if you don't have one, my link is www.creativememories.com backslash user backslash evolute, B-E-C-K-I-E-B-E-L-O-T-E. -E -E. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye now.